Hello everyone, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to, to talk about daily stock market update and we will figure out is it bull trend or bullish reversal or bull. We will see what's going on with the stock market trend. And now let's move to VBull. Let's move to VBull and we will figure out what's going on. Uh, bullish day, bullish day on all indexes, right? It's a uh, Dow plus 1%, S&P plus 1.5%. Nasdaq almost 1.8, it was almost 1.9, it, it dropped, same for, for other indexes. Bullish trend on all indicate on all <coughs> for all indexes. Let's move to let's move to to uh v bull charts. Let's move to charts and then we will we will do review. Let's start from US uh, dollar, US dollar. I'm using four indicators, right? Five indicators. Let me briefly mention about it. This moving averages, values and colors. I'm using MA200 moving averages, MA200 white line. Purple line, it's MA100. Blue line, MA50. Yellow line, MA20. Red line, MA10. Green line, MA5. Dot, red dot, it's a, it's a bearish reversal, green dot, it's a bullish reversal. MA5 still below MA10, still bearish. MACD still bearish, RSI still bearish. Also oscillator green, it's a bullish. Daily time frame still bearish, right? What I'm using for, uh, for entry and exit position, entry and exit position uh, daily and four hours time frame only. And my style is when all indicators align in the same trend direction. That's got full confirmation for me of the trend direction. If all indicators align. If some of them like 50-50, it's not a full confirmation. I'm waiting for full confirmation when it's all aligned. Okay, daily time frame still bearish for dollar, but on four hours time frame, it's already bullish, right? Bullish crossover. MA5 is bullish crossover. MACD bullish crossover. RSI Osmos letter. Dollar bullish on one hour on four hours time frame. It means it wants to have wants to change direction for indexes. One hour time frame is bullish also. It means bearish for indexes. Okay, let's move to indexes. Let's start from Q's daily time frame. Just Q's just did gap up two dollars gap up, and it still move up. Volume is decreasing every day. Still bullish, reversal, bullish trend. MACD still bullish, RSI still bullish, and also later bullish. Only it, all indicators they have bearish divergences. Bearish divergences on all indicators. It's a bull run, but it, can, it will be a bull trap because market wants to go bearish because of the bearish divergences. Any bull run. It should be very strong bull run to destroy these bearish divergences. So far, it didn't destroy it. So far, divergence is still bearish. Let's move to four hours. Four hours, a similar story. Yesterday switched to bearish. It was bearish yesterday. Bearish was on all indicators. Today, it moved to bullish. Bullish reversal signal green. MA5 still below, below 10, still bearish. MACD wants to do bullish crossover, still bearish. RSI already bullish. Uh, Osmos later already bullish. Mix mode. Three indicators bullish, two indicators bearish. On four hours time frame, it's in mix mode. One hour time frame for Qs. It is bullish. Bullish with gap up. Bullish with gap up on all indicators. Still has bearish divergences. VXN volatility index for Qs still to a 24 level, still high level. Qs was today almost 2% up, but VXN was minus 2%. It's not no a huge drop. Investors they do not buy, they do not buy protection. They do not buy protection. You see the price action is. Let me show you. Price action is downtrend on daily time frame or 
uh, VXN volatility index, but MACD, MACD is uptrend. MACD histogram, same uptrend. RSI, also bullish divergence, right? Bullish divergence. Also, also later, bullish divergence. That's what we observe. Uh, bullish, sorry. Bullish divergences on all indicators. VXN wants to go bullish. So far, it's negative. So far, it's bearish. It's so far, it's bearish with bullish divergences. Let's move to SPY. SPY, SPY daily. Sorry, SPY, SPY daily. Bullish reversal signal, MA5 did, let me maximize it. This green line, it's a, it's a major trend line that started from the top of the market. MA5 still bullish crossover, huge gap up today, and it stopped at MA50. MA50 is a strong resistance, it can be rejected tomorrow, we'll see. MACD is still bullish, RSI still bullish, or awesome oscillator bullish. Bullish, same, 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 same issue like on the Qs. Price action is up. Price action is uptrend, right? And uh, volume is downtrend. Bearish divergences. Still bullish signal on all indicators. Bullish signal on all indicators. Let's move to four hours. Four hours for spy. Still bullish. Bullish reversal. Yesterday it was bearish reversal, today it's a bullish reversal. MACD still bullish, RSI still bullish, Osmos awesome later bullish. Bullish trend on, on the 4 hours time frame. And like I said, yeah, the volume is decreasing, volume is decreasing. 1 hour time frame for SPY. It's a bullish one hour time frame for SPY. It's bullish on all indicators, right? RSI, also awesome later, all indicators bullish. And let's look at it. Yeah, it's it's building price action. Yeah, price action is kind of kind of flat. Yeah, price action is flat, but it's building bearish divergences on SPY already. You see the, it's already building bearish divergences on MACD indicator and same on RSI. Same on RSI, it wants to have some, some reversal signal. Well, it wants to go, definitely it wants to go back and close this gap. I believe it will happen tomorrow or on Friday. We'll see. VX, VIX, volatility index for, volatility index for SPY. Bearish trend, bearish trend on all indicators, right? But yeah, still bearish trend. No changes. Let's move to Dow Jones. Dow Jones. Dow Jones daily. Bullish trend, MA5 did bullish crossover, still bullish above all moving averages, and, it, and it's above the major trend line. This is green major trend, lower trend line, and upper trend line. MACD bullish, bullish crossover, RSI bullish, awesome oscillator bullish. All indicators bullish on daily time frame for Dow. Four hours time frame, bullish reversal with gap up. Bullish trend on all indicators, MACD bullish RSI also oscillator. One hour time frame, all bullish the same. Last bar above May 200. We'll see if it, May 200 will be uh, resistant or it will be support now. May 200 downtrend, it is still bearish. This gap up will be closed maybe tomorrow or on Friday. Bullish trend on all indicators. Let's move to VXD. Volatility index VXD for Dow Jones. Bearish trend. 
on daily time frame it's bullish for for Dow for hours time frame for hours time frame it's still bearish it's bullish for Dow let's move to IWM IWM daily IWM daily MA5 did bullish ready for bullish crossover MACD did bullish crossover RSI bullish crossover Osmos letter bullish IWM bullish on daily time frame on 4 hours time frame it's bullish also bullish MA5 did bullish crossover over 10 and 20 bullish bullish on all indicators bullish divergences works always work always work before and will work bullish trend on one hour time frame also all indicators bullish right? all, all, all indicators bullish last bar close above my 100 remember when my 200 still downtrend all indicators still down I'm all moving averages 100 250 downtrend direction let's move to apple apple daily Still bullish, bullish trend, price action is uptrend with bearish divergences. Bearish divergences on all indicators. Awesome oscillator already red bearish. Bearish divergences, even, even the volume is decreasing. Let's move to 4 hours time frame. 4 hours time frame, still May 5 below May 10, it's bearish. But reversal signal bullish. MACD is bearish, RSI bullish, Osmos letter B, bullish, two, uh, two, three indicators bullish and two indicators bearish, mix mode, one hour time frame for Apple, it's bullish, it did gap up, and it's bullish, bullish and MACD on RSI and Osmos letter, all indicators bullish, let's move to Tesla, Tesla daily, Tesla daily, Last bar above all moving averages, MACD, flat green, RSI, all indicators kind of flat bullish, also most later red bearish. 4 hours time frame for Tesla, it is flat, price action is flat, right? The bearish reversal signal on, on the indicator, May 5 did bullish crossover, MACD green bullish, RSI bullish, also most later bearish. Tesla kind of flat for several days one hour time frame tesla bullish on recent hours and my five did bullish crossover over all moving averages macd bullish crossover green rsi bullish also letter bullish baba alibaba group daily Huge gap up, five dollars gap up, bullish trend, bullish reversal signal. Last bar close above MA50. We'll see it can be rejected from MA50. It can be at least go back and retest MA200. MA5, uh, yeah, MACD bullish, RSI bullish. It's trying to get overbought territory. Also, was later green bullish. For our time frame, it is bullish on all indicators and it's overbought territory on other side, it's very overbought. You see the price action is uptrend, right? Today, on four hours time frame, on volume, it's a downtrend. On the, on the price action, it's an uptrend. Let's check one hour time frame. One hour time frame it's already ready for bearish reversal. RSI and overbought territory. MA5 ready for bearish crossover. Also later already red. In one hour time frame it wants to have some bearish reversal signal for BABA. Only on one hour time frame. On four hours and daily it's bullish, right? That's all. Let's move to 
indexes and let's do summary let's do summary all indexes still bullish on daily time frame all still bullish with bearish divergences on four hours time frame for Qs, let's say and it's a yeah, bearish signal mix mode but still yeah still positive still bullish with bearish divergences on one hour time frame they all have bullish signal also that's what we have bullish signal on all indicators bullish trend on all indicators with the huge gap up that gap will be close someday maybe tomorrow maybe next maybe friday bearish divergences on all indicators it wants to go bearish but still positive bull run that's all thank you so much let's move to disclaimer i am not a financial advisor this video for educational purposes only uh, remember for educational purpose we are using paper trading account thank you so much thank you for watching simple trading style video i do publish daily updates for stocks etfs indexes and cryptos please subscribe for youtube channel and click like button to support the channel i really appreciate all your efforts simple trading style works for any time frames for any kind of securities cryptos etfs or indexes thank you and good luck by now